A 58-year-old veteran, Letitia Gonzalez Triplett, slowly drowned in a pool while multiple staff and onlookers walked by, ignoring her struggle. Triplett struggled to stay afloat for about 25 minutes, at times gripping the pool's edge for support. For nearly 10 minutes, she was seen motionless, face down in the water, while several individuals looked at her but did not intervene. She was finally pulled from the water more than 20 minutes after entering, only after a swimmer in an adjacent pool noticed her. Sadly, it was too late. Ransom Sear, a photographer from the 221st Signal Company, saved fellow 221st photographer Charles K. Pollard from the May 1968 attack during the Vietnam War. Tragically, Sire was later killed by enemy fire. He was posthumously awarded the Silver Star for his bravery. Louis Le Prince, a French artist and inventor of the motion picture camera, vanished mysteriously in September 1890 on his way to New York to unveil his invention. His brother last saw him at the train station, but no one on the train remembered seeing him. Despite police investigations and theories, including suspicions of rival inventors like Thomas Edison, Le Prince was never found, nor was his body. In December 2012, 58-year-old Ki Suk Han from Queens was fatally pushed off a train platform near Times Square by Naeem Davis following a dispute. Davis, claiming self-defense against an intoxicated aggressor, was later acquitted of all charges. The Battle of Stalingrad, which lasted from 1942 to 1943, was one of the bloodiest battles in history, with nearly two million casualties. The brutal winter, starvation, and relentless urban warfare created a hellish landscape. Both Soviet and German soldiers endured unimaginable horrors, with entire divisions annihilated and civilians caught in the crossfire. Colleen Ritzer, a 24-year-old math teacher at Danvers High School in Massachusetts, was brutally offed by one of her students on October 22, 2013. The student, 14-year-old Philip Chisholm, attacked her in a school bathroom, strangled her, and then disposed of her body in the woods. The crime shocked the community with its senseless brutality. In 2019, a teenager, Emily Eccles, suffered a severe facial injury when her horse bolted after being spooked by a car's exhaust. She hit a gatepost and was left holding the bottom of her face in her hands. Her jaw was attached by only a centimeter of skin. The reconstructive surgeon Ricardo Mohamed Ali successfully rebuilt her face in a six-hour operation. This is a body cam image of Brent Thompson after he was stopped by cops on the I-25 in Colorado. He gave the cops a fake name and then attempted to flee. The cop tased him, causing him to collapse. Moments later, an SUV struck him as he laid on the ground. In a chilling photo taken at a zoo in New Delhi, India, a white tiger is moments away from dragging a man by the neck into its den, where it ultimately killed him. The tragic incident occurred after the man fell into the enclosure. This 300-pound black bear was photographed by a hiker, Darsh Patel, in West Milford's Apshawa Preserve moments before it killed him. Patel and his friends split up when the bear chased them. Patel was found dead, mauled by the bear. This was the last photo on his phone. A prion disease called Kuru can be contracted when a human consumes another human's brain. It was typically found in cannibals from New Guinea who would consume the brains of their dead relatives as part of a funerary ritual. The fatal disease would slowly form holes in the victim's brains and cause them to laugh uncontrollably. These are some eerie and disturbing cases that defy explanation. The Dyatlov Pass incident saw nine hikers die under bizarre circumstances with inexplicable injuries and no clear cause. The Beaumont children vanished without a trace, leaving Australia haunted by their absence. The Black Dahlia's mutilated body was found in Los Angeles. Her killer never identified. The Hinterkaifeck murders left a family brutally slain on their isolated farm. 
with footprints leading away, but no suspects. Rescue workers searching for missing British teenager Jay Slater in Tenerife found a body. A police statement said that initial evidence suggested the person found had suffered an accidental fall in the inaccessible zone. Jay Slater was last seen on the 17th of June after visiting an Airbnb rented by two people he had been with at a music festival on the Spanish island. In 1971, the founder of popular grocery store Aldi Theo Albrecht was kidnapped by Heinz Joachim Ollenburg, a lawyer, and his accomplice, Paul Krohn. The men held Theo at gunpoint, and once they confirmed their target, they took Theo to Dusseldorf, a city just over 20 miles from Theo's hometown of Essen. There, they kept him in a wardrobe while they contacted the family and demanded a ransom of 7 million Deutschmark, the equivalent of about 2.7 million dollars. For 17 days, Theo was kept locked away before the ransom was paid. It later came out that Theo negotiated the ransom with his kidnappers. His kidnappers were eventually caught by authorities, but only half of the money was recovered. On July 6, 2024, Sonia Massey called 911 about a suspected intruder. Minutes after officers arrived at her Springfield, Illinois home, she was fatally shot by Sangamon County Deputy Sean Grayson. The incident, caught on a 36-minute body cam video, led to Grayson's firing, first-degree murder charges, and protests in Massey's name. The 2015 Philadelphia train derailment of Amtrak 188 resulted in eight fatalities and over 200 injuries. The train, traveling at more than twice the speed limit, flew off a curve, causing passengers to be violently thrown about. The scene was chaotic and grim, with rescue teams working through the night to extract victims from the mangled wreckage. This photo shows the last moments of Sharath Kumar, a young Indian influencer who slipped and fell into the Arasinagundi Falls in India while recording a video for social media. In September of 2008, Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker survived a plane crash that killed four out of the six people on board. He suffered third-degree burns over 65% of his body and underwent 16 surgeries over an 11-week span. Travis was in so much pain that he repeatedly called friends and offered them over a million dollars to help him end his own life. In 2016, a Texas father drove home and went to sleep, forgetting that his six-month-old daughter was still strapped to her car seat. Hours later, he found her unresponsive in the blistering hot car. Before attempting CPR and calling 911, he brought her inside and placed her in the refrigerator to try and revive her. But the child had likely died hours earlier and the man was charged with manslaughter.